Today, we're going to do something a little different. Let's try and revive a Modern Warfare 2 weapon and use it in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. There are two rules to reviving Modern Warfare 2 weapons. Rule number one, all possible attachments are available. The secret's out, almost every Modern Warfare 2 attachment that does anything to make the weapon remotely better comes with slower aim down sight times and muddy weapon handling. There are a few exceptions to this, but that's the typical result. So I will use anything to make these weapons stand a chance against the superior Modern Warfare 3 arsenal. Rule number two, for now, I will only be using these weapons in multiplayer and not in Battle Royale. Maybe I'll try some of these builds in Rebirth Island. And to make it clear, I am playing on hard mode with keyboard and mouse which means I will have to deal with things like a 9mm SMG, having more visual recoil than a worn out jackhammer on a hot summer's day. Alright, let's get into it. And if you do want to join me in trying out these builds, I will not take any responsibility for your spiral into insanity, but you're more than welcome to try it out for yourself. The first gun we're bringing in is the Chimera. The Chimera is this game's version of the Honey Badger with 300 blackout rounds. Long story short, it's the power of an AR with a damage range that's slightly better than a base SMG. Unfortunately for me, None of that really applies here, since any decent Modern Warfare 3 build is going to outperform this weapon. The upside to this is that the Chimera has the same base damage as the MCW, so theoretically, this can work as an alternative to the MCW, but with a lower damage range and of course, more visual recoil. Not all is bad though. The reason why we're starting with the Chimera is because it was one of the very few rifles in the game I was the most consistent with in Modern Warfare 2. That, and I also like the Honey Badger platform with a short barrel and built-in suppressor, which will give us an additional attachment slot since we don't have to worry about a muzzle. Another big upside for this weapon is its rate of fire of 800 RPM, which is faster than the MCW and even the Ram 7. Now, let's try to bring life back to this Overlook rifle. I'll be trying for a build that prioritizes faster ADS times and lowering the gun kick stat. With that in mind, for the inner barrel, we'll use the FTAC SP10 angled grip. This can also be swapped out for the SL skeletal vertical grip, but that will increase your hipfire spread. Just be aware of that. I'll be swapping between these two attachments, but they both work very similarly. For the stock, the clear choice is the M13C factory stock, as there are no downsides and will help with the sprint speed and ADS movement speeds. Moving on to the rear grip, I'm going with a D37 grip, it does increase your model sway, but for the close range fights, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. After that, put on your favorite optic and add the 45 round mag. For optics, I will recommend any of the Modern Warfare 3 optics to give this weapon the best chance possible. I'd like to provide some other alternatives, so if you want to remove the mag or optic, you can equip a laser sight to help with your ADS speeds. Now, let's drop into some games, get a few highlights, make some small adjustments, talk about it, and then reach a final conclusion for the Chimera. Uh, one downside to this gun is that it does run out of ammo fairly quickly and since it does use like very specific ammo you gotta use a perk of some sort to get your ammo back or an armor box either one will work Okay. I see a bunch of blue in the hallway, but not near me, I guess. Yep, 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 yep. Not funny that. Not like this though. Range for this gun is just not an option. It's just too jittery. I knew I saw something. They're double sniping it like monsters.
Ooh, not bad. I got the 2.0. 24 and 12. Like I said, this gun would be doing a lot better if it did not have as much visual recoil as it does. It really would be like a top 3 AR, at least in multiplayer. Because even though the damage is low in range, it's still so very accurate and so much fun to use. So if you are on controller, you probably will have a better shot using this. And just for fun, Exclusive Ace did make a video somewhat recently about this kind of weapon. And this was his setup with the Bruin vertical grip and the quick fire laser. So we're going to be dropping the M13 stock because of that. This will make the weapon slightly slower, but it should give it a little more accuracy. And uh, I just want to see what this will actually feel like in a game. So we'll load up and see what happens. That felt like I hit it more than five times, but okay game. It's fun. <laughs> it's nice to have a good game like that. Just one where you can go from one kill to the next to the next to the next. I did get a little concerned early on though because like we got spawn trapped in hard. And I that was even better than the last game. I even actually did worse but I got more kills overall. So yeah that was with the exclusive ace build and it's pretty solid. I thought I was going to miss the aim down sight time a little more than what I did. But it held up pretty well. Excuse me while I navigate through the stupid menus. But that will do it for the Chimera. It is solid. It will work. It, mouse, keyboard, or on controller. I'm pretty sure if you use this on the controller, you're going to be frying big time. At least in multiplayer. Again, the big downside to this weapon is that it doesn't have a lot of good range. Just put a build around this so you can get your ammo back and you'll be good to go. You can experiment with this and try to put on a, a larger barrel, but that's not really the purpose of this gun. It is supposed to be that middle range kind of gun where it'll be great for 20 to 25 meters. You're going to be having AR damage, and you're going to be fairly solid overall. Those are my thoughts for the Chimera. Definitely give it a shot, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And the Chimera did fairly well. The visual recoil does take some time for me to get used to, and it does give the gun a rougher feel compared to the other Modern Warfare 3 rifles. All in all, this is fairly close to how I ran the weapon in Modern Warfare 2, with exception of course to the front grip and my optic of choice. Even though stat-wise it has the same damage as the MCW, the MCW will still be more reliable at range, and the Ram 7 is even better, both of which have less visual recoil from the start, and when you start adding attachments to it, the MCW and Ram 7 will make up for any of its shortcomings. Even though these builds were done for keyboard and mouse, I'm curious to see if anyone wants to try and give it a shot on a controller. Let me know if you tried this out and what were your thoughts with these setups. If you got this far in this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more videos more often. I'm trying to hit 500 subs and we're getting very close to that goal. And with all that done, let me know what other weapons you'd like to see me try and revive in Modern Warfare 3. Until then, I am Mr. Rain and I'll see you next time.